Good morning children. Today we are going to start the chapter on HTML. What is the full form of HTML? Hypertext Markup Language This is a programming language which is used to design web pages and this program that you are write in HTML is decoded by the web browser through which you view the web page. So in order to create a web page you need two softwares okay that is two requirements. What are the two requirements? Number one, you need a text editor. Okay, now this text editor is for writing the program where you type the program and you need a web browser. Okay, examples of text editor are Notepad, okay, or WordPad or um, you know word anything but we have to type somewhere so we need a software like that and then you need a web browser through which you are going to view the program that you have written and how the web page looks like so this can be internet explorer internet explorer then you have mozilla firefox Then you have Google Chrome or any other valid web browser. In today's class, we are going to concentrate or focus the study on list in HTML. Now there are two types of list in HTML. One is called the unordered list. And the other one is the ordered list. Now in unordered list, it is a list without numbering where the order of the elements of the list is not important. So like you have with bullets okay, or arrows, a list of, you know, elements with arrows or asterisk, okay, which is not numbered. But in ordered list, you have it numbered like one, two, three, a, B, C. Okay, you have you can have Roman one, Roman two, Roman three. So this is ordered list. So we are going to study these two today. We'll keep this for the next class. We will study only unordered list today. Now in so let's start unordered list. As you remember that HTML always starts with the HTML tag. Inside the HTML tag you have the head tag right and within the head tag you have the title. Let us write learning unordered list. This is the title of the web page which is going to appear in the title bar of the web page slash title now title is a container tag so it will have a start tag and an end tag then you close the head tag okay then we start the body tag inside the body tag we are going to give a heading first i hope you remember there are six heading tags h1 to h6 is it? So we are going to use any one of them. Suppose I use H3 and then you write here you're going to do the first program in your book uses of internet and close the heading tag. Then starts the unordered list tag. Now let us see the 
syntax of unordered list. I'll write in a different color. UL. UL is for unordered list. Now, suppose we are going to give these users. Number one is e-commerce. Then you have email. Then you have online banking. And social networking. So now this is unordered list. So I have given bullets, right? Now how will we do this in HTML? Simply, simple. It's very simple. How to convert this? Instead of these bullets in the program, you will write li. And you will enclose the whole thing in the ul and slash ul tag. This is simply how you create an unordered list in HTML. So, what are the elements? So, these are the elements of the list. Okay. And this is the opening tag and ending tag of unordered list. So, first one is li. E-commerce. Slash li. Again li. So each element of the list has to be written within this tag. Slash li. List element. Okay. Again li for the next element. You have online banking. Slash li. And the last element is social networking and slash li. So no matter how many elements you have, all the elements, each one of the elements has to be within li and slash li. And so my list is over. So I close the unordered list. Okay. So this is my list over. Then I will close the body slash body and close the HTML program. Okay, so this is my full program in one glance. Oh, I'm sorry why this has come. And this scratch, this, uh, this one has come by mistake. This line, this is not cancelled, okay. So this is my full program. Now see, I have already written the program for you. I've already written the program for you. The same thing. So this is the head. This is the head portion. And this is the body of the program. And you can see within the body, I have the you will tag for the unordered list. Now, how do we save the program? So, after you have finished typing the program, you will have to go to file and click on save as. This is very important that wherever you have saved, you have to save it with .html extension. So, suppose the name I have given is unordered list. Unordered list dot html okay i'll give underscore sorry save as unordered list i'll give a underscore over here dot HTML. If you don't, don't save it using the HTML extension, then you will not be able to view the web page. So this is also a very, very important part of your programming. So then you click on save. Now you must see where I have saved it. I have saved it on the desktop. 
So now I'm going to go to the desktop. So you can see this is my unordered list. Okay, this is my unordered list. So I'm going to double click on this icon to view the web page. It will take some time to load there. So you can see this was my heading which I had given within the uh, H3 tag. And this is what was given in the title tag. Okay, learning HTML list was the title tag. This is the heading and these were the elements of the list with li that I had given. Now because it was written ul, it has come in dots dots or these are called bullets solid black bullets this is the default ordering in the unordered list so you have not given any type just ul so by default it will come in bullets okay so the next important thing i will mention over here Save the file with the relevant name and very important dot HTML extension. Okay. So this is the first step is to type the program in. This was the first step type the program second one is save it in with the relevant name and third is open the file with a web browser okay so let us keep it till here, we'll practice some more unordered list and then we'll move on to ordered list. Thank you.